Ever since I started earning, my finances has largely been focused on things that will matter later in life. Financing a home, expanding my businesses, and saving up for retirement has largely been my major financial goals. The financial improvements I've made so far revolve around ways to manage and save money. As someone who worries about the future, I've always been frugal when it comes to my lifestyle. I thought I was well on a path that leads to a financially secure life before an unexpected financial blow hit me hard and I was never prepared for it. Although I had some savings, I started questioning my ability to fight the uncertainties that were expected to rise soon. Needless to say, my long-term financial goals had to take a back seat. I knew that I needed to be prepared for any financial strain that I may face in the near future. Not all financial decisions can be taken in a minute or two. And with everything that the world is currently facing at the moment, it has become necessary to make quick financial decisions that will impact your finances in the next month or two. Even though financial decisions require a lot of brainstorming and time, it is important to know that many decisions that pertain to your finances can be taken in less than 15 minutes and can benefit you for a long time. And mind you, these small improvements are more than just tracking your expenses and preparing a budget. The need of the hour is to make decisions that will help you take control over your finances despite all the uncertainties. Keeping in mind the time constraint that you might be facing right now, here are a list of financial improvements that you can make in the next 15 minutes to help you build a life that is financially secure than ever. Point number one, automate your savings. Savings is undoubtedly the most important part of your finances. You need savings to fulfill all your financial goals. That is buying a car, buying a home, funding your retirement, or funding your child's education. In order to keep your savings untouched, make it a point to automate them. Alternatively, you can put a percentage of your salary into your savings account as soon as you receive your paycheck at the end of the month. Ever since I started following the 50-30 rule of budgeting, I started automating my savings and to date, it is the best financial improvement that I have ever made in my life. Point number two, update your personal finance knowledge. Ever since I opted to take control over my personal finances in 2009, the one thing that I've come to terms with is that you can never get enough of knowledge relating to personal financing. Every piece of article or every book related to finance management will offer you something new that was unknown to you. That doesn't mean you should go on a book shopping spree. You can start by bookmarking a few articles and buying a couple of books that you can start to read now. I have Personal Finance for Dummies, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and The Simple Path to Wealth that I go through every now and then to brush up on my basics when it comes to finance management. I will link these books in the description column. So do well to check them out. Point number three, review your credit card or debit card billing statements. Credit cards makes it easier for us to spend money that we don't have. While it is easy to buy anything with a swipe of a card, what you might be overlooking is the massive interest that you will have to pay on it. If you wish to be on the better side of your finances, then make it a point to compare credit card services and choose the best one that suits your need based on the interest that they are offering. Choose one that asks for the minimum interest rate for all the benefits that you want. I don't keep credit cards as I fear overspending my money, but I make it a point to look at my debit card statement at least twice in a month. While going through my recent debit card statement, I found some automated expenses that I could do without. I unsubscribed to half of the OTT media services that I have not used over the last few weeks. I switched to a cheaper cell phone plan and a monthly data service. Reviewing your credit card or debit card statement will take just a few minutes out of your precious time, but I tell you it will be totally worth the amount of money that you end up saving. Point number four, cut back on monthly expenses. Frugal living is the most obvious and the most ignored way of improving your finances. The easiest financial improvement that you can make right now is to switch off the unnecessary lightning and equipment in your home right now. You'll be surprised to know how much money you end up saving 
by just simply opting for cost-effective way of living. Like switching to a cheaper cell phone plan, cancelling the unnecessary magazine subscriptions, getting the cable charges reduced by going for a better plan. I have some videos on frugal living that you can watch in my library to help you cut back on your monthly expenses. You can watch how to save money on groceries, how to cut your electricity bill, real ways to reduce overspending and save money. Some ridiculous things you should stop buying right now to save money. All these are in my library that you can watch right now. Point number five, make a financial plan. If you don't have a financial plan yet, now is the time to get one. It will act as a much needed timeline that will help you work towards your long-term financial goals. Besides, it won't take you more than an hour to set up a financial plan that will help you take control over your finances. The financial plan will act as a reminder for you to prioritize your goals for saving and managing your money. So if you have been planning to put off making the above listed financial improvements until you have time, then think again. You don't have to wait years to make decisions that takes as much time as it takes for you to prepare your dinner. And though these small decisions won't immediately contribute towards your long-term goals, it will surely impact your finances slowly and gradually as you move towards bettering your financial health. These are five financial improvements that you can make today to improve your current situation. If you got value out of this video, kindly hit the subscribe button to join this community. And don't forget to hit the like button as it does well for my video. And remember to share this video with anybody that you think it will benefit. Thank you and catch you in the next video. I know I should be investing in myself. You know you should also be investing in yourself. We have heard that a million times already. But are we really investing in ourselves?